There's no other place in the world that will make Burgundy, but Burgundy can't make a Yamhill Carlton wine either. So what's magical about Pinot Noir is that it expresses the place. And if the place has something to say, that will be captured in the bottle. In this region, we lose our moisture very early toward the end of the year. The vines have access to no water by the time you get to end of July and August. And that hastens ripening. That's one of the unique things about this area is that it tends to be the earliest ripening area in the entire valley. And so the wines tend to be very lush early in their life. They're not as angular or acute and acidic when they're, when they're younger. Um, and so that they tend to be texturally very pleasing. To me, it's quintessential Pinot Noir that uh, is redolent of blackberries and, and, and raspberries and, and clove and tobacco and coffee. The wines tend to have a firm tannic backbone and a connection to earthy qualities to it. And uh, our, we didn't choose our motto, back to earth, for idle reasons. And it does seem that the wines will trade a certain fruitiness off against other appellations for this very rooted in the soil kind of quality. It gives suggestions of earth and forest floor and mushrooms and, and things other than fruit. And I, I love that about the area. And that's what drew, drew me to spend my life savings on this piece of property because I could have gone a lot of different places. And I found that that other than fruit thing to be the most exotic and ultimately mysterious quality about the wines that I think is important. One thing a sommelier can do is refer to an existing and well-known vineyard like Shea or like Mineral Springs or like one of Ken Wright's vineyards that when they have another vineyard within the Amhill Carlton AVA, they can say, this is the same region where those wines come from. I know sommeliers, and I know uh, that the ones who are going to be interested in how Yamhill Carlton is different from any place else are the ones who are already obsessed with Pinot Noir. And that's a lot of sommeliers, actually. A lot of them are obsessed with Pinot Noir. <laughs>